It started in uh, 1929 with uh, the three original Butler brothers, my uh, great uncles, Lynn, Jake, and Elra. And they had a bunch of wild horses here and somebody at Clinton, Oklahoma needed some uh, horses for the rodeo. And they were just trading horses here. So they herded up, I don't know, 30 or 40 head of horses and they drove them to Clinton, which is probably 30, 35 miles from here. They didn't have trucks and trailers or train. They just herded them over there and bucked them at the rodeo. And I guess they uh, had quite a bit of success with the horses. And they got, I can't remember what they got paid, but whatever they got paid, I like, man, this is easy money. So it just kind of took off from there back in 29. And uh, as we get going, it started with them. And then uh, my dad... Is still in business me and him are business together that's what's butler and son he's the third generation i'm the fourth generation and my son would be the fifth generation it has evolved i mean it's uh we went uh back in the 50s it was the butler brothers and they had a family feud and uh lynn and jake split up and sold out to uh, some different guys. And then my dad, or be my grandpa, Jiggs, and Elra, which was another one of the original Butler brothers, split off and formed Butler and Son back in the late 50s, early 60s. So they uh, started Butler and Son. Well then, as they grew older, my uh, grandpa Jiggs got killed in 81 in a tractor accident and uh, then it was my dad and his grandpa which would be Benny and uh, Elra they kept it going and then back in the 90s I think it was in 89 Ed Gaylord from Lazy E in Oklahoma City bought in and it was Butler and Gaylord from 89 to 2000 then in 2000 when I graduated college I got back in and ended up being turned it back to Butler and Son Just uh, big footsteps to feel. I mean, I've been doing this since I was a kid, and uh, really since I graduated college in 2000, 99, 2000, really full time. But you know, I've, I mean, every time you think you know something, I mean, you learn something every day. Being around your dad or some of the other older men that's been in the business and the sport forever, I mean, you never stop learning. You keep learning something every day and just take it all in and try to keep working every day to stay at the top of the game. Oh, future goals would be to, uh, I would like to win the, oh, the horse of the year, world champion, bucking horse. My dad's won it, I never have won it. Uh, I've won the bull, but I haven't won the horse, the bareback or the bronc, and you know, that'd be something neat to do to say that you raised, you know, the best, bucking horse in the world for that year and we i we got runner up last year we second place last year so we're going to try to regroup and see what happens this year but uh and just to keep raising the horses and maintain the integrity and like i said the way the sport has changed there's so much competition you've got to keep working at it every day or other people will pass you